Hi, welcome. This video is about um, tiling window managers and people wanting to float a particular um, application. Now, there are two things that I think are important, but it's a personal opinion, so you decide for yourself. One, you're using a tiling window manager because you want it to be tiled, right? So automatically putting it in uh, quarters or halves of the screen, etc. Secondly, conkeys are not really the objective inside a tiling window manager. You can launch one, look at something, delete one. It will never be beautiful, ever. Now I have here some things I could test it on. So I can do any of these guys, and even on Arch Linux, it doesn't matter. Tiling window managers um, can be installed on Arch Linux quite easily, right? So this is the Arch Linux spectrum, the Arch Linux spectrum. It is in the Arch Linux and Arch Linux, right? It's all Arch Linux things, but basically Arch Linux is 90% Arch Linux anyway. So I could take any of these, but let's of course take a ROM first. So we launch this thing and I move it to here, the other screen, right? Now, a right control R is going to reset, and I do hope it's already installed, right? I'm in luck. Now, this is, of course, not a tiling window manager, and yes, it is. The flagship has XFC Openbox and i3, but just to make it another uh, educational video, I can just install whatever I want. I just launch the tweak tool and get awesome on there. I can get PSP, let's count them. One, two, three, four, uh, yeah, five, six, seven. We have seven tiling window managers, right? And DWM, spoiler alert, is coming. So we have a lot of choices. I choose PSPWM and an error occurred. If this happens, well, actually, it's a good thing that this happens, right? Just go and in, go inside and launch Article Next Tweet Tool because things happen, back in, packages change of name, uh, you have, I don't know, what kind of packages on your system. So you say to the system, reinstall. Let's see what he's going to do here. Oh yeah. So now you know, oh, I don't have internet, right? Mirror, 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 mirror. All right, stop. I know what's going on. Control C. I forgot to do a mirror. So mirrors change the, um, all the servers that are globally uh, over the globe. They are now looked at and arranged in a list, the mirror list. You can have a look what happened now. So we have a new one from today. Arch Linux mail tunnel is there. And we just hope it's going to work again. So let's start it from here again. So we see what happens. You only start this um, tweak tool from the terminal if there are errors. Otherwise, you don't bother, right? It just works. Install. And we have here an issue of packages. So 20.6.1. Arch Linux BSP 26 failed to retrieve the package. Which means I forgot to do another update. <laughs> update your databases, Eric. Right? Get them in. Now you can stop actually. So it knows what package is where. That's basically what we do. What package is where. It gets a new database. And now we've made all the mistakes we could ever make. And it's gonna work just fine. Mirrors update, right? BSPWM has been installed. The video is not about this tweet tool, but it's it's common knowledge. It's good that's in the video. It's analysis. Think, think, right? We have BSPWM installed. We're talking about how to make, how to tile things. Don't want to see the conky and don't want to see this message. Nah, gone. So we're on BSPWM. It's black because we are on a virtual box. Otherwise it will be transparent. And what we want to do is have a look at something a user asked on a forum. And this applies to any tiling window manager and it applies basically to any Linux system, right? 
we want to have Nautilus, which is one of the other one of the other Nautilus, one of the other uh, file managers like Nemo, like Thunar, like so many other, and he wants that tiled as well, not tiled as well. So better is Super Shift D. Remember the D menu works everywhere, and it's supposed to tile, right? It's supposed to look like this. This is a tiling window manager. But the user asks, hey, how can I tile this thing? Simple. Uh, that's plasma for you. I'm going to delete this guy. Launch it again. And you need to know one application. That's called xprop. Give me the properties of your x window. Click on it. So this is Nautilus. Click on it. And that's the thing. It always changes from name. And you know Linux is case sensitive, so big O, small G, uh, sorry, small O, small G, big N. And here it's a big O, small G, big N. It all matters. So depending on your tiling win window manager you're on, you're going to do Ctrl Shift C this thing or type it over. And then think, where are the configuration files of my particular tiling window manager? Right, can be up here, Xmonad is in here. Most often our guys, our tiling window managers are in here. We have BSPWM here, there's the file. And the only thing you have to figure out is how do I open it and gonna, where am I gonna copy paste this thing? All right, and bye, right? So in here somewhere, there is something about floating and here it is, rules. If you find a rule, if you find this application, then you do it floatingly, you see? If you find XFC4 terminal, stay floating. So basically, what I do is Control C, Control V, right? The rules and how it's written, the syntax is different on any system, but you don't care. You just copy paste, Control X this time, Control V, save, a space here, save again. So now you're telling, whenever you come across this particular Windows name, this class, right, floating applications, as a rule you can make, uh, full screen applications, yeah, that's it, no further comments. Then you, if you find this guy, then you float. Right now, sometimes it can be that it, you need this one. So I would try out first this one. 90% chance it's okay, but depending on the tiling window manager, sometimes you need this one. So that's a capital N there and not a big O here. All matters in Linux. So that can go. This one is, is safe, sorry. <coughs> so super shift R is going to reload, but I need to kill as well uh, Nautilus. <coughs> Sorry. Super Shift D, Nautilus, and there you go. You have a floating window, right? This is now a floating window. Whether you like it or not, that's up to you. But this is how it's done. And it's done like that on any Linux system, any tiling window manager on Linux. All right. Enjoy.